Look at it. So beautiful out there. Look at the blue sea. Yeah, I thought I'd try my first little. I thought I'd try my first vlog. Yeah, see, I'm out walking from Douglas to Castletown, and I've not been this way in seven years. I can't remember last time? I think I was like 21 or something. But yeah, seven years ago. Yeah, just look at it. Yeah, so it's a nice day, and it's been raining all last week. It's like, I could go a long walk somewhere. That's probably like nine miles. Right on one and a half miles so far. Yeah, I've still got all that way to go. It is a seagull. Should I scare it? I should not scare the seagull. I just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, behind. There's nobody behind me for once. <laughs> yeah. Should record from the start, but yeah. I just don't like people and there's lots of people about and I'm not confident recording in front of people. I'm not confident at all. Yeah. There's a ferry going to Liverpool. It's a fast boat. It's actually a smoother ride in the Bembukri. And a lot faster. And Liverpool should be right over there somewhere. The water looks so tempting to jump in. So inviting. I really want to jump in it, but I can't. Yeah. Just walking along the road. It's weird. I've never really recorded a vloggy thing before, so I'm trying my best at this one. Like, big cliff. I'm over two miles in. Probably got another few to go. What was the part of It's just way, way over there, around that corner. I'll see the boat kind of, that little blip in the distance. God, it's so warm out here. God, it's warm out here. <laughs> I've not felt heat in ages. <laughs> yeah, we've been used to cold summers. <laughs> but this year it's been hot, so it's kind of cool. So I can go walking a bit more, and walking is one of my things that I love doing. Call it a hobby. Well, it's down there. Look down there. It's a little beach. A little archway. I really, really, really want to go down there right now. Why does the coastline all look so appealing for people? Look at that wall. It looks like it could be hiding something in there. Like a building inside the cliff. It wouldn't surprise me though. Ship kinda odd. I can't believe it's been almost seven years I've been down this way. It used to be one of my favourite walking routines. Go from Cast Town to Douglas, Douglas back to Cast Town. Now I'd roughly be here about 22 miles. This time I'm going to try something different. Radna falling, that's it. Okay. That's what I'm going to try, so Radna falling a bit after this. I like the coast route, I've never been on the coast route before. I've only been on this way, then up through the road and from Port Sardrick all the way to Cast Town that way. The old Cast Town road. People, are, people outside the Isle of Man don't know what I'm talking about. People in the Isle of Man don't know what I'm talking about. Not too far to put Sardrick, just down there. I've got round there first, and down. Here we are in the old Cast Town Road. You go left, you try and go to Douglas, that's where I used to always go, you used to always go that way, down Douglas, up Douglas Head, and round back this way. Which is the coastal route. That's not my car. Yeah, I'm going down southward, so it's this way I go down. 
I used to love going this way. It's always peaceful. You don't get many cars coming this way. Not many people. And it's mostly garlic. <laughs> and fancy houses. There's my shadow. <laughs> Down this pathway into Port Sardrick. It's really long. You should always love coming down here. <laughs> Shade. It's still hot out here. The sun's blinding my face. I'm walking down a path I've been down in years, and I love going down this path. It's so cool. Nature can be fun. I know I'm on the right path of where I'm going. Stop. <laughs> Which is just, just down this hill. See, see the old ferry slip away. That's where it was. Oh, the wind's picking up now. Look how beautiful it is out there. Here's my feet, my breathing. It's bad. <laughs> I'll go down a tunnel. Oh, got a big blast of warm air. <laughs> Jeez. It's gone. It used to be like a mini hotel there. I think they demolished it now. There's people down there. And the hotel is gone. <laughs> Yeah, the hotel is gone. You wrote it's been for years, but your granny or your parents might know what it used to be. If they're over 40, that is. They're wet. I'm definitely going to find my backside. I have, I have zero point of luck in these things. I fell down here once on the last two steps. Yeah. <laughs>
I tell you, it was painful. Yeah, I'm finally done them. Oh. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm finally done them. Now it's time to have some snacks. Found a place to rest. Yeah, I've done over four miles, 4.2 miles. Yeah, and I can either go that way or that way. The sky is so blue. The birds are chipping. We're definitely in nature too. I wonder how my sandwiches are holding up. Oh. Not that bad. Banana sandwich. Any other kind? No, there isn't. Okay, so we've left the bit where I was sitting at, which is just over there somewhere. We can't see because there's trees in the way. Yeah, I've never been down this way before. I was meaning to, but never get a chance to. I must walk and run around there. I always walk around that way in the main road. But it's an adventure. Let's see where it goes. And it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know where I'm going. Do I go that way or do I go that way? Hmm. Uh oh. Do I go that way? Or that way? I'll go this way. It's up a hill. Yeah. I don't like hills, but this is fine. It's small. It's okay. I've been up here, but it's still okay too. Hey, I've got lost. I got lost. <laughs> I'm just exploring everywhere I go now. May as well be adventurous. Really, the footpath goes onto the other footpath. Could have just stayed on that one instead of going up a little hill. All I got to do is follow the seagull. Not the yellow brick road, the seagull. Not the flying ones, but a signpost one. Then I know I'm on the right course, probably. I am known to get lost in these places. Made out of that bit, didn't seem to take long. So I'm just following the seagull. Yeah, I'm not a breath because a little hill. And I don't do well with hills. But there's a bridge, and the railway lines on top of it. Choo choo. I could have saved all that and just went up this way instead. Because just around that corner, it's a car park, but I went doo 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 around the woods instead. Yay. I'm doing a bit I don't like walking on the main road. Yeah, people zoom along here all the time, or they go slow. Sometimes they go in between. Yeah. This was this part of the road just drags on and drags on and drags on. But the town just up there, Port Sodrick, is actually a good town. Just keep walking, 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 and the camera's all fuzzy. And the camera is all fuzzy, fuzzy. You know, the camera's all fuzzy. Just keep walking, walking, walking. Gotta try and find another seagull somewhere. I'm on the main road. Yeah. 
main, main road. I hate working on the main road. If you ever, if you ever walk on the main road, stick to the right. Just face the ongoing traffic. Or the ingoing, ongoing. Well, you know, stick to the right all the time. So you don't get hit by anyone. <laughs> It's a road of nothingness and nothingness. One long straight road. How should we going down that way, son? Like this road is so long and boring. Yeah, better road safety. Always walk against traffic if you're ever walking. Yeah, that way you can see the cars and the car can see you. That's a bit of a tip for you. <laughs> all the way from there. There's my shadow. I wonder if my shadow will fly away like Peter Pan's. <laughs> yeah, you finally found a seagull. I think that's what I'm taking. Go down from the main road and go down this little sideway. I'm getting excited, I've never been down here before. I've been along that road before, but not down this road. Oh. Oh, garlic. <laughs> God, I feel like I've been walking for hours and ages and long distance. I've only walked seven miles, that feels like I've walked 20. Yeah, my legs are starting to shave now. Uh, shave. My legs are starting to shave now and it's starting to hurt. At least I know I'm in the south end of the island. I've got another four miles to go. Hopefully four miles. Yeah. But it's so nice out here. It's like the weather you want to go for a long, 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 long walk. Better than wearing the right gear. And the moon is out. I don't know if you can see it, but the moon's out. Farmer in the field. <laughs> you've probably not seen this because I'm not really good at holding cameras, well, holding my phone not well. But I'm doing it. I'm setting out a goal and I'm almost achieving my goal. Well, first part of the goal anyway. Just went past a field of cows. <laughs> Wish my brother was here. I'd have dragged him over that field and he hates cows. <laughs> I'm at the coast now. Hopefully not long to go. But look at the sea though. A bit windy here than it was in Douglas Head. But still. Ow. And I almost tripped. Doesn't look fun to slide down. Weep doosh. <laughs> Just gotta keep following the seagulls. Just to know those type of seagulls. <laughs> Thinking of where I'm going now. No more main roads for a while. Just going down a hill. It's also a big flaw as well. I don't really like going down the hill in case I trip over. <laughs> this one's kind of okay. Get my feet. Kick, 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 kick. So beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, so inviting. They can run down that hill and just jump in that sea right now. It looks so clear down there. This crosses England somewhere. 
not that clear, but you can't say so you can't see it. But in a clear day, as you do see England. Don't want to say it in a weird way. Yep, I walk from all around the corner. I've got this way to go, around that corner to go. It's actually quite flat because I've never been in this way before. Yeah, I've never been in this way before. It's kind of cool. I didn't actually know it existed <laughs> until a few months ago. There's the lambs. Don't know if you can see them. There's the lambs. So I'm kind of excited. It's like I've got. I feel energized right now. Like my energy levels came back. And I'm sweating like hell. I'm chafing like hell, sweating like hell, but I'm still going. Don't give up. If you want to achieve a goal, never give up. If you can't fully do it, do it partly. <laughs> like my goal is to walk from Douglas to Port Erin, which should be around about. Going the coast away will be about about 30 miles. But yeah, that's my goal. But I'm working towards it. So I have to because I want to. I'm determined. I'm just rambling on right now. I'm shaking my water like I don't know why. Oh my god, that's so cool. So blue the sea. Look how blue it is. Don't fall on this step here. Can you be? Sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. All that he could see, see, see was Michael Shut up, please. <laughs> I don't know why I just did not awkward laugh for. I'm just weird in general. God, I kind of felt a bit drunk there. I didn't awkward this. Ooh, one wrong step might be in there. Yeesh. That would be unpleasant. There's a seagull down there, but I'm not following it. It's a big rock out there. I want to climb on it. I'm not going to. Maybe another time. I don't know where we are now. I was here the other week. <laughs> Cave exploring. My god, those stairs over there just took me out. And I went down and up again. <sighs> yeah, there's a couple of caves down there. There's a cave down there somewhere which has a weird shrine to it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go back down. Last time I went down there, I slipped about three times. First one, I slipped into the water. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I'm almost about to hit the nine mile mark. Now I've been walking in this, this sort of coastline, grass, path, cave, sea, and rocks, as you can see. You can see St. Michael's Island already. But I'm not going to do that bit today. I just want to go here and go straight home now. It should not be long. Ooh, I get to walk on the beach, kind of. They go over there, I came out of hell. Beach, beach, beach. So beautiful, this little path. Just stones and stones. And I've got a lower voice because people are behind me somewhere. I've got stinks.
I'm at a 10 mile mark now. Yeah, for the last mile and a bit, I'll just be in walking mode. I like zone in and I'm like, wait, straight to walking. And I forget everything around me. Yeah, you just saw a sign back there said, Derby Haven, four and a half miles. So yeah, so it's gonna be like a 50 mile trek almost. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. I'm just flogging away in the middle of nowhere for the first time ever. Oh, that bogey in my nose. It's a case we explored the other week with some friends. They were actually quite fun to get to. Apart from you fall in the water. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so it's gonna go around that hill and somewhere over there. I'll be home in about five, six miles from now. <laughs> Look how clear the water is. Hey, it's almost basking shark season, so you might see an old basking shark now and then. But it looks so inviting again. Ugh. I always want to jump off a cliff and jump into the sea. See what it's like. There's my shadow and it scratched my head. Just past the 12 mile mark. And I'm literally tired now. I might be speed to slow down. I don't have far to go. But it's 12 miles. Still a good feat to do. I think this is different from walking on road. Walking grass and beaches and stuff. Yeah. It takes a lot out of you, especially when you walk up and down hills. I'm so used to flat roads. Uh, yeah. Hopefully not long to go. Yeah, nobody warned me about this mud. I think my shoe is all dirty now. Mud, mud, mud. It feels deep, it's not deep. I might look probably get my shoe stuck. So I'm to be careful when we calculate what's the best bit to go down. I think she was all dirty already. Ugh. I think I better wash them when I get in. Walking down this little bit, it's like refreshing. It's like a little kind of wooded area, but it's not a wood, if you know what I mean. It's got trees, it's got a river, and it's also got one of these. <laughs> a little bridge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say now, because like, I'm that tired. But I'm still going. <laughs> Just never give up. Let's look how blue the sky is. And the sun is over there somewhere. Be setting soon. It's 27 p.m. It's 8 37. 8 37, 6 37. Ugh. Can't tell the time now. Ugh. It's quite beautiful around here.
more mud. Death path? Death path. I think we'll choose this one. It looks like the main path. Hope it is. <laughs> Didn't use exactly around near my area. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, something new every day. Kind of cool, this little wooden area. It's not far from mine. I never knew it existed. Didn't know it was Pathic City in the first place either. I was like, I've got to walk over now. Ugh, my feet are killing me and I've got to walk. Going that way. <laughs> I'm going to get my feet soaked again. Careful, careful. Now we have that way we go. That way, but that way. I actually don't know. It's only in this way, so I think it's this way. No, they can all go back that way. Yeah, I think it's this way. Probably this way. And that's the public that field. I don't know, we've never been this way before. The sign is pointing straight this way, so I think it's this way. I have to admit, the good thing about these walks is there's not many people around, or well, hardly anyone around. Which is the best thing. Oh. I'm starting to look my worst now. Look at my neck, like, no, no. I'm having this on my weight. <laughs> I'm actually on a fun weight loss journey right now. I think last year I was almost 16 stone. I'm down to 12 stone range, so I'm happy about that. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I yeah, know it doesn't look like it. Probably got some water weight. My face looks kind of tanned. <sighs> camera angles have to be everything. I'm fucking my camera angles. Crap. Gate. I'm actually exhausted right now. Oh, what was in my hand? I had a creepy curly in my hand just there. Yeah. I'm extremely exhausted. Oh, 
probably not long to go. But it's kind of cool walking through a really kind of area I didn't know about, and I probably already said that. Poof. Hallelujah! This airport, this house is in distance. I'm almost home. I never felt so happy to go home before after being a walk. <sighs> yeah. I've done about just under 14 miles already. So when I get home, I'll see how many miles it actually was. <sighs> just made it past Derby Haven. Just that's indicated to me it's just a mile or so to go. I think it's a mile or two, two miles, one and a half. Not long anyway. <sighs> Yeah, right now I don't know how I feel. Like I'm really, really tired. My mind's tired. My body's tired. My legs are like, I can keep going. But my thighs are like chafing like mad. And it's starting to hurt. Now the sun's in my way now. It's been a quick fun day. That's me just home and I'm exhausted. It's weird, I didn't set out to vlog today. I've never done a vlog before, so it's the first time I did a vlog. And I'm just knackered out. <sighs> yeah, I'm just extremely tired right now. Like my feet are sore. <laughs> They're really, really, really sore. Every time I touch the ground, it hurts. Yeah, I had a really fun time doing that walk and vlog. I was kind of nervous doing it. Yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll probably do another one sometime again, maybe. <laughs>